Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we will be talking about the books that I'm planning to read in the month of October. I have a very ambitious TBR for this month. I didn't count how many books there will be but I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> around 20 that I'm thinking of reading. I'm pretty sure now that I won't be <laughs> reading all of them or at least finishing them all but at least I want to start some of them this month. Majority of those books are graphic novels and manga so that won't be a problem. <laughs> However other books are quite chunky so I think I will just try to go quickly through them because there will be a lot of them and I don't want to sit here all day. I'm pretty sure you don't want to be here as well that long. <laughs> so let's just start with the book that I'm already started last month. It is a I'm a Queen by Susan Hastings. It is a Lithuanian edition that I have here uh, called Ashkaralyanya and in this book we have a Queen Isabel. She is now at the moment that I'm reading, she's now wanting to be a queen. However, we start this book with uh, Isabel when she is only, I think, 12 years old and she's already a pawn in the political games surrounding her. And at that time, her country, Spain, is in total disarray and the king that is <laughs> ruling that country, her... The, stepbrother isn't the greatest of kings and she tries to change that she wants her country to be great and i think in the end she will achieve it but i'm already in the middle of this book a little bit yeah almost in the middle and i like it it's very political it's definitely character based story but when you read this book you read it quickly so happy to be finishing this one. Another one is quite popular at the moment. It's Midnight's uh, Library by Mad Haig. I have a Norwegian edition here. I, I've got this book at work. We sometimes get books to read in advance and yeah, I just wanted to try reading it. Uh, it's on my wish list, but why not to read it now? I have a chance and to be honest, I'm not that sure what this book is about only that i think it is about a woman who runs some kind of library where it's somehow connected with the life that lives that she can live <laughs> i think i'm just very wrong at the moment <laughs> by describing this book but like i said i didn't read the description yeah happy to finally pick this one up another one also i've got at my work to read is reminders of him by colleen hoover i also have a norwegian edition Minerum ham and in this one we have kenna rowan who after being in the jail for five years mm -hmm wants to forget the past and what happened in the past and just wants to connect with her five-year-old daughter and she so she moves to the city that she lived however the grandparents of her daughter don't want her in their lives don't want her in their granddaughter's lives and the only one who wished to reconnect is her dead boyfriend's best friend ledger ward and I think there will be story about them, about reconnection, about family bonds and yeah. Because I already read one book by Colleen Hoover, I'm pretty sure there'll be a lot of twists in this book, but it's very popular at the moment, so I just want to pick it up as well. Another one is by Alexandra Bracken, The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding. And in this one, it's very short and vague description on the back. But as far as I know, we have a very strange family, uh, Reddings, and Prosper is totally different from his fam family members and now I think this will be like to the title says the story about him and I think there is demons involved so there will be a lot of books this month that are somehow connected with ghosts, demons, witches, so on. It's 
October. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to read something spooky. So happy to finally pick this one up. Another one is very very short. It's only 80 pages. Breaking the Rules by Maxine Linnell. And in this one we have Mo who moves to another city and now she wants to find friends. The way she tries to find friends are a little bit questionable but in the end i think everything turned out well i'm pretty sure i will read it quite quickly also we have vandria historier by peder skov, skov. Uh, and like you can see on the cover it will be a dark story it's a short story collection and i think there will be stories about ghosts about vampires about murderers and so on so perfect for october another one is absolutely <laughs> gorgeous cover it's mary's monsters love madness and how mary shelley created frankenstein by lita judge it's almost in pictures with a little bit of text and I just adore the art style in this book and hopefully if I like it, because it's a library book, hopefully if I like it, I am pretty sure this will be going on my wish list because it's amazing. I want to have it on my bookshelves. Another one, like you can see, I already started reading is Laura Dean. What is the original title? Because I have a Norwegian edition here as well. Laura Dean keeps breaking up with me. In this one we have a two girls like you can see from the title one of them is laura another one is fred freddy and they are 17 years old and we have laura dean who is uh, very very popular in school and she gets together with freddy and breaks up with her and it's a story about how freddy i think finally decides to stop this circle and hopefully she will because it's just <laughs> yeah, poor poor freddy i'm on page 94 and we already have two breakups already another one is manga by iyo sakisaka love me love me not in this one we have two friends who are totally different and their views on love and falling in love are absolutely <laughs> different and yeah, it's a story about friendship and about how those girls fall in love and how they keep their friendship even though they are very different, like I said. Here we have a Utstot Ut by Ethan Aldridge. It's a Norwegian edition. The original title of this one is Estranged. And I haven't read a <laughs> synopsis and I don't, don't want to read synopsis. It's a graphic, no no graphic novel. But according to the cover, I think this will be a paranormal story, and that's great. Another one is also a graphic novel, Amulet by Kazuki Buishi. And the story of my life, I haven't read the synopsis, but I know that this book is very popular and it is definitely a paranormal story about few kids who get on the paranormal adventures. Another one is Kiki's Crimes by Georges Chamblin or Aurelia Neyret. And in this one we have Kiki who is some kind of a detective and one day she and her friend finds a man who goes in and out of the forest covered in paint. And they want to know what's happening there, so they go on the adventure to find out. Sorry if the lighting is a little bit different and I look a little bit different, especially here because I have it and I have my coffee. But my battery ran out of charge, so I had to charge it and I had to wait it because I have only one battery. But we can continue now. And the book that I will read next month is... Nicolina by Silvia Dawi and Paula Antista and this book is about a girl Nicolina and I think she is a some kind of cryptozoologist <laughs> and a lot of uh, strange and unusual animals and her adventures with it I'm guessing <laughs> maybe I'm wrong uh, another one will be as well a paranormal a magical book about a girl Nola at her eighth birthday Nola 
discovers that she can get to another world and i think there will be a beginning of a adventure because it is the first book in a long series another book that i will try to finish reading in the month of october is one i've got on Ned Galley, it's The Girl from the Well by Rin Chupeko. And in this one we have a ghost. Finally, we have a real good ghost story. And it is, I think it is based on the movies of The Ring. Because we have a girl who, who was killed in a well. And now she goes on the revenge. She, she doesn't remember the, what exactly happened to her, but she senses the other spirits around her uh, especially young girls who were murdered and she goes and revenges the, uh, revenge them revenge them <laughs> and one day she meets a guy tarkin and he's covered with a very very strange tattoos and he uh, has a dark entity that follows him and now she wants to save him so yeah, we have ghosts, we have family relationships in this book and so on and so on. And I'm almost in the middle of this book and I really, really like it. So hopefully I won't change my mind at the end. Another one is by Lucinda Riley, The Girl on the Cliff. Uh, this one, I think is, it will be very loose um, magical realism book because we have a very mysterious girl, girl Aurora who claims that she can see her dead mother and she can see a little bit into the future what will happen at least she somehow senses it and one day that girl aurora meets a her neighbor and and middle-aged woman grania who after some things that happened to her flees from the new york and co comes back to this rural ireland village she grew up uh, to and yeah those two girl and woman meets and now grania's life is turned upside down and like with all lucinda riley's books we have two timelines one in the past and one that's going now so that story in the past is about grania's own mother and grandmother and the story how they end up in that village and nowadays it's Grania's own love <laughs> triangle on and so on so it's very interesting it's a page turner it's very cozy and I also reading this book at the moment so I can say that it's very cozy however very sad <laughs> very sad <laughs> book but it's it's Lucinda Riley you can expect that from her so yeah, very happy to finish this one. Another one that I will be listening this time on audio is The Hollow Places by T. King Fisher. And this book was chosen on our book club, Mooney's book club, that is created by G from the uh, book roast. And I don't know anything about this book, <laughs> to be honest. But because it's uh, our book club pick, I will definitely read it. And I think it's I think it will be about a woman who finds a portal at her uncle's um, strange museum and now she can travel through to very strange places so definitely interesting definitely autumn <laughs> book so happy to finally start listening for that one another one is thriller is time and this book is one of the oldest that I have on my bookshelves and I have a challenge for myself each month I to read one of the oldest books that I have and if I don't read that book until the end of this year I will be donating it because they have been uh, at my house for way too long without <laughs> picking this, uh, this one up. So yeah, I, I will definitely start reading this book this month i don't know if i will finish this this month but yeah we have a private detective who goes back to his uh, childhood town very mysterious uh, place as far as i know and there's some things that start happening there and now the 
past is trying to catch him and then I think there will be a killer who starts to <laughs> hunt that uh, detective and so on and so on so sounded quite interesting and hopefully I will like it another one is 101 mystical place in Lithuania there's no description about this book the title says this all that it's about some strange places some mysterious places in Lithuania so I have to read this because I already have it I think for two years now so it's definitely time to pick this one up another one is also very popular <laughs> in the book community it's Ninth House by Lee Bardugo and in this one we have Galaxy who gets into Yale and she's not a typical Yale girl as far as I understand but now she is trusted to monitor Yale secret societies and uh, so happens that there starts to uh, appear some bodies <laughs> in the in the uh, Yale and she is the only one who is interested enough to find out what's happening and I think there will be necromancy and there will be magic maybe involved and I'm very happy to finally start reading this one. Another one is a Norwegian author Bjorn Ausland who wrote The Mörke Jarte or The Dark Heart and this is graphic novel as well and in this one we have a girl Oskild who is a friend with Prince from the, her childhood, uh, childhood and now the Prince gets his throne and on the day of getting his crown he gets a visit from one very strange lady and she gives him a gift and when he opens that gift <laughs> gift opens that gift uh, he is turned into a not monster but a very dark very um, unfriendly person and now it's as Oshild's uh, turn to find the help and try to cure her friend from this disease of darkness. Another one is very beautiful book that I have is a classic story by Nikolai Gogol Bobas it's in Lithuanian or uh, I don't don't know how it's called in English. I think it would be so, something like the monster or something like that. No, not monster, but ghoul or ghost. So, yeah, it's a short story collection of Nikolai Gogol and his very strange and mysterious stories. And the last one that I will try to <laughs> at least start reading this month is the second book in the series by Karen Kerry Maniscalco and this one is Hunting Prince Dracula and in this one we have what's her name we have Audrey who after uh, finding real person behind Jack the Ripper flees London and now she ends up in Romania in a in a very for a very famous forensic school of Romania of Europe even and now she's staying in that castle and that castle belonged to very famous Vlad the Impaler or Dracula and yet again the body starts to appear and now she's trying to find out if Dracula is involved in this murders and who is the real killer so that are the books that i will read try to start try to finish and there's a lot of them how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen around twenty books like i said so quite a lot i won't try to lift them up <laughs> but yeah wish me luck and hopefully you will also have a lot of great uh, books to to start and to read in october and yeah i think for now that will be it so consider subscribing giving this video a thumbs up and yeah that's it for now so thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye